Good morning, ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests. And thank you, uh, children, for being here this morning. And thank you to the choir for the beautiful music uh, we've heard already this morning. My name is Rob Stefanik, and I'm the Secretary of the Department of Parliamentary Services, and I'll be your MC this morning. It's my pleasure to invite Nyambury Ngunnawal custodian, Paul Giroir House, and his mother, Dr. Auntie Matilda House, and the Nyambury Family Cultural Group to lead the presiding officers into the Great Hall to commence the Australian Parliament House 35th anniversary. Amandangu, Wurugawai, thank you. Njumburu Buru Marambang Naramarang. Good morning, everyone. Yilangalangbu, Gibabangu Wogabu Migaibu Diranilbang Mayin. Ladies and gentlemen, young men, young women, distinguished guests, Speaker of the House of Representatives, President of the Senate, parliamentarians, you and do Paul Girawa House. Marambang Malang, Noi Goi Malang. It's wonderful, it's fabulous to be here. Noi Goi Malang, Marambang Malang. You and do Paul Girawa House, Nadu, Maradu, Marei Biringo, Guji Gango, Nyambri, Nurambango. I was born here at the centre of my ancestral country, Nyambri country, here at the old Canberra Hospital. Yinja Marabala, Nama, Dr. Matilda Williams House, Maradu, Diringam Birra. Gwura, Rambi, Galari, Hollywood, Nurang, Nyambri, Nurumbango. My respects to my mother, Dr. Matilda Williams House. Born and raised on a dirt floor, Rambi, 32 acres, Kara, Hollywood Aboriginal Reserve, Nyambri, Canberra country. Uh, because of her, I can, and because of all of our matriarchs, we can on country. Nyari, Njamali, Nyambri, Guma, Wogalu, Wallabalawa, Nunawal. Nagarigo, Waradri, Mujigang, Yanambu, Jayandu. My respects to Nyambri, Gumal, Wogalu, Wallabalawa, Nunawal, Nagarigo, Waradri, elders past and present, 
Nyari Njamarabu, Mujigango, Nurumbanjigu, Nini Yiridu, my respects to all people and elders from all parts of this great country. Nyambri, Wogalu, Wallabalawa, Nunuwu, Mayingai, Banya, Nyinyoga, Nurumbango Dara. Nyambri and Nunuwu people, Nyambri, Wogalu, Wallabalawa, Nunuwu people welcome you all to country. Nadu, Nyani, Wurugabigi, Balabambu, Gubu, Balagi, Bangubu, Guin Gulila, Dumbali, now Murwa, Marambu. We listen to our old people, our ancestors, our elders, and they show us the straight path, the good path. Dulagang Muru, Bidiri Muru, good path. Guin Gulila, Bilingali, now Yama Mali, now Wala Mali, now. They nurture us, they guide us, they protect us, our old people. Nyani, Injamali, Nurubangila, Balanin, Wallawin, Galanga, Bangbu, Yanangingo, Nyani, Mawang, Yabiligi, Gila, Yaman, Bilgiri, Yani, Marabu, Bagarigan, Yanangingo. We look after country, we respect country, so that it's healthy for all of us, for all our children, and we teach and learn what is right for our people. Mambawara na minyugu, wura gabinyu, wura daraigu, wininggalagu, baligu. Looking to see, listening to hear, and learning to understand. Inja mara wirimbira, marandu gubu, giira gubu, yandu gubu. Respect is taking responsibility for the now, the past, the present, and the future. Inja mara bala guji gangagu mara wala nunga yalara dalani mayin. Respect is in the people and the government, embracing voice, treaty, and truth telling. Our welcome to countries are always made in the spirit of peace and a desire for harmony for all people of modern Australia. And our main aim as local custodians is to establish an atmosphere of mutual respect through the acknowledgement of our ancestors and the recognition of our rights to declare our special place in the pre and post history of the Canberra region. The name Canberra is derived from the name of our people and country, the Nyambri, the Canberra. Gazetted on the 22nd of January 1834 under the New South Wales Colonial Government. Our people who through law and custom hold cultural knowledge and we continue to maintain deep respect for our ancestral lands and waters. Uh, we've cared for Mother Earth since the dawn of time. Our signature is in the land. Yinjamara, Yinjamao Giju, Yinjamara Bu, respect, respectful, respected. Inja mara bala bala wing giren bana na nuru bala bua giren gam birra. Respect is in the warmth of the campfire and the possum skin cloak that shelters all. Inja mara bala magam na waga da na nu dango wa bu mira daganda. Respect is in the soles of the feet of the dancers hitting Mother Earth. Inja mara bala bala walam wanga da bu murun man da bu bamu yugura gam birra. Respect is in the grinding stones and the carved trees made long ago on country. Guin Guliala Balabirida Bina Bina Yawulu Wil Nurumbango. Respect is in the Cambri River and the breeze quietly moving through country. Yinjamara Bala Boya Niang Nurumbango Bagarigan, respecting language, law, people and country. I'd like to acknowledge my family, uh, my children, all my children here, my brother Daniel, my mother. Uh, our connection to country is powerful and compelling. Our story is a shared story. We must remember under the concrete and the steel of this place there's a rich, powerful, compelling First Nation history, which is now a shared history that belongs to all of us. We all have a responsibility in looking after country. The law of the land talks about giving respect and honour to all people, and then people will respect you. Yinjamara Mayangalangbu, Yandu Mayangalangdu, Yinjamal Gizu Nyinyogi, giving respect and honour to all people. Yinjamara Yambo Wan Muranwaginya Buradurai, respect everything living and growing. Please look after the land and the rivers, and the land and the rivers will look after you. Maragaladal, Walan Mayam Mayangalang, hold fast to each other, empower the people. Walangunmala Maramaragurai, be brave, may change. Diriyamana, Murawara, Nawambira. Get up, stand up, and show up. Yinjamara, Mara Mara, Nyinya Nyinya Girama Maranya. Respect shapes us and lifts up the people. So, Gawayambana, welcome. Gurubari, welcome. Mandanguwu, 
Thank you, and it's nice to be here on country to celebrate the 35th uh, birthday of New Parliament House. Mandangu, thank you. Thank you, Paul, for, as usual, a warm and thoughtful welcome to country. Um, some of you will know, but many of you will not, um, that um, a little bit of history has played out here today as well because um, Dr Auntie Matilda House uh, was the first person to do a welcome to country uh, in Parliament House. It's my pleasure to introduce today's hosts, the, pres the presiding officers. Senator, the Honourable, Honourable Sue Lyons, the President of the Senate, and the Honourable Milton Dick MP, the Speaker of the House of Representatives. I would now like to invite the President of the Senate to commence the official proceedings. President. Thanks very much, Rob, and good morning, everyone. And I acknowledge that we're meeting on the lands of the Ngambri people and the Ngunnawal people, and I pay my respects to elders in the room and uh, any emerging elders with us today. And I acknowledge that uh, this always was and always will be Aboriginal land. And it fills me with particular pride to be welcomed to this 35th birthday party uh, today with the sound of the didgeridoo, the tapping sticks, um, Arnie Matilda and uh, Paul's very warm welcome, so thank you very much. I also acknowledge uh, the school children here, our future leaders and uh, future custodians of this place, so welcome. And I know we've heard from you and we're going to hear some more from you, and I certainly look forward to that. Um, so I also want to acknowledge my parliamentary colleagues here today. And in particular, long-serving staff. I think we have staff who've been here for 35 years since the uh, day that the new Parliament House opened. And I congratulate you on your long service. And I think it's testament to the importance of Parliament House and the satisfaction you get uh, in keeping this place up to scratch and as the pillar of our democracy that uh, some of you have spent your, a considerable part of your working lives here. So congratulations if you're one of those people who've been here for 35 years. Uh, I'd also like to obviously thank our audience and members of the public for joining us today. And I think milestones such as 35 years are a time to celebrate, but also a time to reflect on things we've done well, things we could do better, and just to congratulate all of us uh, in being, being here. And certainly when I reflect on my much shorter time here at Parliament House, I do so with a sense of pride. This is the pillar of our democracy. It's the heart of our democracy. And I feel immense privilege to be here. But it's also a place of stories, of stories of friendship, of work, of careers, of love perhaps, enduring friendships. And this morning, um, Camille, who's our hairdresser, told me a story about her mother, who was one of the original um, visiting uh, people who conduct the visitors. Uh, sorry, let me rephrase, it was very clumsy. People who do the tours. Uh, she was one of the original people and she made lifelong friends and um, she'll be here this week celebrating. So there's many stories like that, which we all hold and um, have a special place in the memory of Parliament House. So it's also obviously the place for discussion, debate and decisions. Uh, and we know, as um, Paul just reminded us, that Parliament House is situated on important Aboriginal land, uh, land that was meeting place. So it is appropriate to have the Parliament House here. But of course, um, 35 years is really just a blink in time. Um, 
and uh, this parliament has, has played its place. But obviously for people like me, clocks are very important and one of the little known facts about this place is there's 2,700 clocks uh, here and the parliament isn't sitting today so we won't be nervously looking around to see what colour the bell is um, when, uh, when the clock uh, starts. But we all do that, no matter where we are, we check to see if it's red or green and if it's for us, off we, off we run. I have to say, in the 10 years that I've been here, I've not yet missed a division. Is there some wood I can touch? Uh, so I hope I can continue that tradition because it's very embarrassing, I'm sure, to get to the doors when they lock in your face. Um, so welcome here today. I hope you enjoy our celebrations. We will be cutting a cake later and I believe there'll be some appropriate singing. Um, but I would now like to welcome uh, our ACT primary concert choir and of course they are proud parents and custodians and um, they are under the guidance of conductor Catherine Finlinson and they're going to sing a Yorta Yorta song called Our Song uh, written by Deborah Cheatham and um, that means um, it's a song about bringing people together so I thank you all for coming today I thank um, our elders and custodians for the wonderful welcome. It is important to have the sound of tapping sticks, of song and of didgeridoo in this place to connect us to uh, the ongoing culture, but to remind us of the 60 odd thousand years that came before the 35 years of our parliament being here. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, folks. That was fantastic. I would now like to uh, call to the stage um, Milton Dick, MP, the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Mr Speaker. Well, thank you very much, Robin. Good morning, everyone, and happy birthday to Parliament House. 
May I too begin by acknowledging the traditional owners and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging and recognise the House family and their continuing leadership in this local area. Auntie Matilda told me 35 years ago she was a face in the crowd 35 years ago with thousands of others and today she proudly walked in, the Speaker and the President of the Senate, to recognise the link and the custodianship of our First Nations people. So thank you, Auntie Matilda and the House family for your leadership. To the ACT Primary Concert Choir, beautiful. Let's give the kids a round of applause for their beautiful singing today. I know the President of the Senate, Senator Sue Lyons, and I are so proud of the school children and their link to Parliament House. And I recognise our multi-faith leaders that are here joining us today at this special occasion, and also members of the Diplomatic Corps that have joined us today. Thank you for participating in the 35th birthday celebrations of Parliament House. To my parliamentary colleagues, the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Ms Sharon Clayton. There's representatives from all parties here today. I recognise Minister King and the Assistant Minister of the Prime Minister, Mr Gorman, and Senator Rustin and Mr McCormack from the Opposition. Today we celebrate a milestone, and many of us here, including myself, every day, I guess, pinch myself when we say we work at Parliament House. We know there's a thousand workers in non-sitting weeks, and this week we'll have around 10,000 people working here in Parliament House in one of the biggest weeks of the year. And each year this building has one million visitors, make it the most visited building in our country. And what a special day it is today for the 35th anniversary. Now, Senator Lyons spoke about the impressive workers that are here, people from all professions that contribute to the running of our nation's parliament, landscapers, cleaners, plumbers, chefs, stonemasons, broadcast experts, security, all, all just to name a few. Uh, and earlier this year, we welcomed the new apprentices who began their apprenticeship here at Parliament House. They joined skilled and experienced tradespeople who were responsible for every aspect of the running of this building. And whilst the Parliament House is impressive, I believe what makes this the most loved building in Australia is because of its people. So I do want to acknowledge all of the workforce that have turned out today. This is your celebration as well. You've kept our building operating and working for 35 years. There is a range of celebrations that will occur throughout the year to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the opening of Parliament House. Today we'll unveil a new exhibition, Turning the Key, Opening Australia's Parliament House. If you haven't had a look, go up to the first floor and have a look at all the incredible achievement that the construction that was undertaken over almost eight years to build this building actually occurred. From the skills of those who worked on its construction, the foresight and talent of the arch architects, it's really fascinating. And today we're unveiling a new Australian-made products in the Parliament shop for all ages and a new online shop to ensure that Australian Parliament House sells the best of Australian product. During the official opening on the 9th of May 1988, there was a multi-faith blessing of this building. And today we continue the blessing on our Parliament. Today we have been joined by leaders from the Catholic, Anglican, Uniting and Greek Orthodox churches and the Muslim and Jewish faces, faiths. Today's blessings will be given by the very Reverend Richard Thompson, CSM, the Vicar General of the Catholic Archdiocese of Canberra and Goulburn, Bishop Mark Short of the Anglican Diocese of Canberra and Goulburn, and Mr Robbie Tulip of the Uniting Church Synod of New South Wales and ACT, Bishop Bartholomew of the Greek Orthodox Church of Australia, Dr Abdul Hakim, the President of the Islamic Society of the ACT, and Dr Dan Rosa of the ACT Jewish community. I invite our faith leaders to address us today. I thank you for the invitation and for the opportunity to pray with you all in this, this esteemed establishment. So 35 years ago in this place, Australia and the world watched as our nation forged its political and cultural heritage 
into this mature landmark. At that time, we asked God not only to bless the building, but to bestow his grace upon our elected leaders, upon the welfare of our nation, and the maintenance of our political and religious freedoms. Today, we ask Almighty God to continue to make his present known and felt amongst us all. May God help us and all who call this building and Australia their home to respectfully acknowledge and grow with the first peoples of this vast land and its waterways. Remind us that we belong to a land of plenty that must be nurtured as our common home. May God bless Australia. And to acknowledge that we meet on the lands of the First Nations people of this country and acknowledge their continuing connection with this place. Let me begin by reading from Psalm 33. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. Gracious and life-giving God, may your blessing rest upon this building and all who work and visit here. May it be a safe place for all, where we listen to one another, serve the common good, and learn to love justice and righteousness for the sake of the world you love. I offer this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy eternal God, creator of all, inspire us to make peace with your creation where now we destroy the earth, may we protect and enhance conditions for all your creatures on our fragile blue planet. Jesus Christ, incarnation of truth and justice and love, inspire us to make peace with each other so that we may recognize and respect each other's voice in a spirit of reconciliation building dialogue and mutual understanding so all who are damaged in body and spirit may find a path towards healing and opportunity to achieve their full potential. O oh God, spirit of living grace, inspire us to build up communities of hospitality and faith and equality. May all who are hurt by trauma, find welcome and dignity, so justice may roll and all may live in harmony. In the name of Christ, amen. Most merciful and loving Master, as we gather today in peace of mind and heart, we thank you for bestowing upon us the blessing of celebrating the 35th anniversary of the opening of Australian Parliament House. We pray that you, the King of Peace, the Son of Righteousness, continues to bless all those who serve in our Parliament, shining the light of your countenance upon all of our beloved parliamentarians striving in peace and fairness to conquer injustice, inequality and hatred, fulfilling your will and for the service of the human person. Make our prayer acceptable. Cover us under the shelter of your wings. Repel from us every hostile foe and bring peace to our lives as a good 
εν λαβήν λόγων. Σκέπασον ημάς επί τη σκέπη των περίγων σου. Αμήν. In the name of Allah, the God, the most gracious, the most merciful, good day and Islamic greetings of peace. It is my sincere prayer, prayer to be able to speak among us to all of you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and especially children. Islam is a religion of monotheism. Islam literally means submission to the one true God, Allah, alone, worthy of worship. One who voluntarily surrenders their will to God is called a Muslim, who can be from any racial and ethnic background. As a community, we, the Muslims, who believe in the oneness of Allah, Islamic monotheism, favor and highly regard the universal principles of quality, equality, kindness, and tolerance. God says in the Holy Quran, Chapter 49, verse 13. O mankind, we created you from male and female and made you into nations and tribes that you may know one another. Indeed, the most honored of you in the sight of God is the who is the most righteous of you. In the light of this verse, I hope and pray that we may continue to understand and respect one another, fashion wise laws, and act justly as God loves those who are just. Thank you very much. Today I repeat the Hebrew words spoken by Rabbi Lubovsky at the opening of Parliament House in 1988 from the Prophet Haggai, which are as relevant today. Gadol Adonai kavod habayit hazeh ha'acharon min harishon amar Adonai tzvaot uvmakom hazeh eten shalom naum Adonai tzvaot. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than that of the former one, said the Lord of Hosts, and in this place I shall give peace. God bless this house that in it good government may flourish and wise laws be fashioned for justice, prosperity and peace in our diverse nation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my parliamentary colleagues, the staff of the parliamentary departments and everyone here today, may I express my sincere gratitude to each of our faith leaders for their blessings and inspirations. Whilst today is an anniversary, it's also a birthday. And anyone who's met me for five seconds knows that I like cake. And what birthday can be complete without a birthday cake? I now invite the president the children of the choir and our parliamentary workers who have worked here since day one to help cut the cake.
That concludes today's ceremony. I thank everyone for coming today. I thank particularly our children, uh, local children who've come along today joining us, sitting so beautifully and so quietly. Um, and I think you could probably tell some of the politicians in our parliament uh, how to behave really well when you're at an official gathering because I was watching all of you and you were sitting there silently, no one was talking, uh, you were mostly engaged, so well done. Um, congratulations to all of you. Thank you everyone for coming. And thank you to those very familiar faces of our 35 year uh, uh, workers in this building. Um, they're well known to all of us, so thank you very much and uh, enjoy the rest of the birthday. Thank you. <laughs>